Dame Joan Bakewell has confessed that her one-time nemesis, morality campaigner Mary Whitehouse, may be right after all. For decades, Mary campaigned against the desensitizing effect of violence and gratuitous sex on TV. Joan, at the time, was one of many who considered Mary's attitude prudish. However, Joan now says, I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but uh, I'm with Mary Whitehouse on this one. So do you share Joan's view now? And has, would you say that your moral compass has, has changed? as you've got older well I think the problem is it's that's exactly it it's because I've got older mm -hmm. and I'm now turning into my mother <laughs> um, and I think the problem is is that you forget that you were young once right because I remember when I was young with the Mary Whitehouse thinking, thinking I wish she'd shut up you know what does she know and she's such a prude and she's so old and all of that mm. and I I now am Mary um, because I have children, so of course there's much more for them to see now, you know, and everything does seem to revolve around sex and language and there's 25 million channels to choose from and there's the internet and, and so you do become a bit, well you're not watching that or you shouldn't say this, you shouldn't do that, so I think it's just it's being a more parent and getting old. Than it used yeah, to be. absolutely, but I still remember sometimes when I'm going to say something to the boys, I think, oh come on, you know, they're 17 and 21, remember when you were. Whereas I think Ray forgets he ever was 17 or 21. Because he'll go, well, I, ca I can't believe they're still in bed. You know, I can't believe they haven't tidied up. And I go, why, did you do that at 17? And he goes, no, but that's not the point. You know, I know now how bad I was. I'm trying to make them not as bad as I was. And I'm going, no, they have to learn and grow, you know. So we always have that kind yeah. of, you know. I think it's, it is too easy to sort of, you know, oh, those were the good old days and, you know, n nobody was corrupt then and, and, you know, there was no sex on the telly. There was. I remember, I remember bokeh of barbed wire. Do you know what I mean? You know, there was lots of sex on the telly then. And I, sometimes I get a bit cross with, you know, women, especially like Joan Bakewell. I've, I've heard it all now. You, she's the last person you would have thought would come out and go, ooh, I think Mary Whitehouse was right. You know, people get to a certain age and suddenly they've had all their fun yeah. and all they want to do is, like, stop everybody else having fun. You know, and, like, going around saying, oh, it's terrible, everything's got to change. It's not that bad. You know, and if you've got great parental control over your children, you know, you've got... Um, access on the internet and mm. restricted and all of that and you know and you're quite strict with what they watch on TV then there shouldn't be a problem but you know it just it, it, it reminds me of people who who give up drinking and then start preaching to everybody who wants to have a glass of wine now and again do you know what I mean it's mm. you know back shut to the drink up. again back to yeah, the drink booze again. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, you see that's th I never got allowed to watch bouquet of barbed wire because it was after nine o'clock and I was in bed so yeah, I but think you're a bit younger than me as well. Just slightly, slightly. But I, I, I wasn't allowed to watch it, and that's that's, that's where funny. it was. I bet. Yeah, I must get it actually now because you can get <laughs> yeah, it all. Yeah, get now. it on TVT. But I, I think there, there is. I think we should have a Mary Whitehouse back because I think there's far too much stuff on television. Oh, she wouldn't have the help in hell now, though. You can't well, release you it need now. Somebody, you? You to need be fair, there, to there get, is to now. It's, it's called Media Watch. I mean, Miss Whitehouse, she founded... It's called the National Viewers and mm. Listeners Association. It's now called Media Watch. So there is still a, a body, if you like, that, that tries to make sure that there isn't sex on too early in the evening and that, that you know... Let, for example, you know, daytime TV, there's only certain words that you're allowed to use. It's yeah. so annoying. <laughs> 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 but then again, as, as a child, you know, you say, oh, we were all young ones. We were all, yes, yes, we were. And, and outside the house, I was a completely different child to when I got home. Mm. Because then I knew I had to have respect for my parents. I had to be in for a certain time. And, you know, and, and that was how the rules of the house worked. Whereas I don't... I think there's, there's just so many areas no now. Boundaries, really, no boundaries, really, anymore. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, well, there's two people at the end who don't have kids that are saying that. It mm. is more difficult when you have little ones, especially, you know, Finley's eight, nearly nine, and the films that he likes, um, and that are marketed for his age, they all have swear words in, and we have to say there's a little bit of kissing, you yeah. know, and this sort of thing. I think they've been watching. Well, just, just normal, you know, action-y kind of films aimed at little boys. I don't mean grown-up films at all, but there's, there's normally some kind of teenage love story involved in there at, at, at some point, and which I think is kind of wrong. You should either make them for children or for teenagers, and I think, um, you know, in, in that way, Media Watch or whoever should um, clamp down on... make that. That's one way to make sure that younger kids don't come into touch with things that they're not quite ready for. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. All right. Mm. Uh, right. <laughs> you could be applauding yourself after.